Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you alright to go? You. Yes. Good stuff. Alrighty. What is the plan? Oh, I, I believe some uh, people are setting out to speak to the locals. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vane's gonna, yeah, like pick up his stuff and head here and say, um, well, shall we go and speak with these uh, locals then? Yes. And I will crop up. I will leave my owl with somebody, just in case. Uh, they need me. Off looks like he could have an owl. Mm -hmm. He probably would have I eaten have, the owl. By all means, take the owl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it can perch on Croft's shoulder if it likes. Croft will remember this. And then out he will go. Ba -ba -ba. Alrighty. So you guys head on out. Off to the rescue. To go speak to some people. Where would you like to go first? Rob's house. Okay. Where is that? <laughs> uh, it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> uh, I just walk past the lady and go, thank you. And then head out. Uh, here. Yeah, uh, he's overselling it now. Mm -hmm. He really is. I'm putting on a performance, my darlings. Um, Don't ever call me that again. <laughs> um, you say that in I... your normal vein voice? Yes. Okay. We're the only ones here. <laughs> um, uh, so I will look around left and right. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone, like, apart from the two fishermen that I assume Rook has just spoken to? Because he said he'd spoken to two fishermen and a cat. Uh, you do see a few people are milling about. Um, you see one fellow is carrying a rope. Uh, it was him. <laughs> just seems to be heading down one of the docks, getting ready to tie something up. It definitely seems to be... A lot of workers hanging about, though you do see every now and then a door will open and uh, kids will be shooed outside. Uh, there is one woman stood just sweeping her doorstep currently. All commoners, all um, just going about their daily business. Okay, I would like to first head over to the man with the rope mm -hmm. and arrest him for stealing silverware um no i would like to go up to him and say oh hello uh why have i ever changed the voice hello you're right there uh yeah it was uh i was just you haven't happened to see any crabs around these waters have you uh he gives you a very quizzical look uh no I um, don't know if do you know if there's any like fishing uh, fisher shops around that uh, might have someone that knows. Uh, well, there's small shops, but there's also like uh, where like the big fishing ships come in. There are warehouses that sell that way. Okay. Right, um, and which way is that? That and I'll point in a direction, right of me. Uh, no more this way. He points the other direction. Oh, thank you. Sorry, it's my first time. I'm a bit lost. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you'll need a carriage to get there, though, or just keep walking. Oh, oh all right. It's quite a distance, isn't it? Yeah. All right, lovely. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll walk back to the woman that is wiping her 
front doorstep. Is she sweeping? Hello. Oh yeah, that's what I meant, sweeping, not wiping. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Um, I was just making a few inquiries about it. The area. Uh, you don't happen to have uh, seen any crabs or anything like pottering about? No. None at all. Do you think you'd notice seeing crabs? She stands upright and she goes, Are you having a laugh? No, I've just I've been hearing a few rumours that there's some weird crabs around here and I thought I'd, you know, I'm a bit of a uh, interested in crustaceans so I thought I'd ask and you obviously I believe this is your lovely house you're very near the water I thought who better to ask you dirty bastard and she starts whacking you with the broom uh, oh, oh, alright love that chill <sighs> coming back here asking you've got crabs no, you Ma misunderstand me. I'm actually talking about actual crabs, not. We're you know. we're conducting an investigation of people's belongings going missing. So, if you've seen anything suspicious, suspicious. yeah, you lot. About me. I knew she was going to say that. Any anyone uh... besides us? No, I haven't. Now shoo! Wow, the friendliness here. Public street, man. And I'll turn around and walk back towards the the restaurant, the uh, tavern. <laughs> Just follow Fane. People here are assholes. Um. Is there anyone in this direction? Uh, again, you see a few more dock workers. Hmm. Okay, I'll go back in. Mm -hmm. Um, and I believe her name was Yulia. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, uh, good evening, uh, or afternoon, Yulia. Um, you haven't seen any crabs have you Cr crustaceans things that could be mistaken for a cat a crab uh no um i bought some recently but um they're all gone now mm, where'd you buy them from is there a local crustacean shop uh no, but there are. There's a warehouse down the way. Um, that's we buy our fishes from. They're caught here locally. It's just it's cheaper if you can buy them in bulk. And they also, makes, they also makes do makes a lot of sense. They also do auctions as well. Oh, very nice. Um, and how ba how far away is that? Would you say? Uh, you should go there by carriage, and it's a. Uh, I need to check. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, maybe. How dare you not know off the top of your head? I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're supposed to know where the crab merchant is. Gone. She says, uh, about an hour's carriage ride. Very well. Um, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, you said all of yours are gone. And you said they were caught here locally, yes? Uh, so there are crabs in, in this area? Uh, yes, but um, the ones that you eat are far out in the ocean. Oh. Interesting. I mean, you, you do get smaller little crabs here, but they're, they're not for eating. How little are we talking? Like, cat-sized? Um, nowhere near that big. And she kind okay. of shows you her hand. She goes, roughly, uh, the body's roughly, or the shell, I should say, is roughly this big, and she sh uh, circles the palm of her hand. 
Oh, okay, so yeah, relatively small. Okay, well, thank you, Yulia. I much appreciate it. If you think of anything that might assist us in getting out of your hair quicker, you just let us know. Yeah, will do. Uh, right, back upstairs, I think. Oh. Kate and Rashawn, is there anything else you'd like to do? No. Hmm. 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 Is there local dogs, or is, um, is there one main dog yard that's just miles away? I'll bring you to the map to show you proper. So there are numerous docks about Clan Comrie. These ones here mm -hmm. are like where the big ships settle in, but there are numerous tiny little ones where fishermen boats and the like uh, mm -hmm. head off from. And then the one where the little anchors are or where the shipyards are based. Okay. So the local fishermen obviously use the docks that are local to here. Yeah. Is it like a proper dockyard or is it just some wood planks and posts? Uh, these Just... ones are more planks and posts, really. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's all I had. There is something they would like to uh, check in with Rook about. Mm-hmm. You can chat away, you don't need me to go over to the other map, I will anyway. Oh, but well, uh, how wrong will one. I ever know where I am? This yeah, isn't... Wrong one. This... A different map. Oh no, we're all over the shop. There we go. Rook. No, mm. Sorry. Mm. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Come in. Um, <clears throat> hello, Rook. I'm going to drop my disguise. Um, Thank you. That's okay. Uh... <laughs> What are the limits of your shape-changing abilities? My imagination. Um, so I can't. I can't. Could... I can't fly. Okay. Well, I'll bear that in mind for the future. But you could, perhaps, turn into something aquatic and swim down a little ways and see if there's any metal crabs it, lurking it around. Is... It is very recently that I figured out how to breathe underwater, but yeah, yeah, I could. Hmm. Convenient. So I more specifically, it's only recently I figured out how to turn into a creature that could traverse underwater and breathe underwater. Oh, oh that's... Congratulations. Thank you. Finally, someone says it. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could. The... The question we need to ask is if there is any sustain, uh, substantial dangers to my going alone. Well, see, th this is what I was thinking. Is like, is could you turn into a a bigger fish? Um, ideally, then things would leave you alone. Um, and Cato, I th I don't know what the duration time is on your talky brain thing, um, but you could conversed with Rook and uh, you know, we could kind of have a, a a view of what's under the water I, f I feel One. like the limit with Kato oh, sorry, you can explain yourself yes one hour and you must remain within 40 feet oh, mm. that's oh, yes counterpoint, uh how long can anyone in this uh, team that's not me hold their breath? Um, 
<laughs> okay, so... If you've, you know, take the time to slow your breathing and ready yourself for going down into water, um, it's usually one plus your con modifier. Yeah, so it's the number of minutes, minutes that you can spend underwater. Yeah. Um, maybe two, two and a half, three minutes, something like that. I've never really thought about it too much. Yeah, it's, I could probably do about three minutes. Or is the most for me? Um, do you want me to go down scavenging? I point day? at Shana and say, bigger lungs. <laughs> um, big lady, big lung. <laughs> Um, well, I mean... feels, a little, feels a little inappropriate. This is the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Rook. It's fine. Um... It's, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, well, I'm just... Uh, is there any issue with you doing it today? We can always wait till tomorrow and just... I mean, we could we could do maybe a stakeout tonight, see if there's any crabs, and then go down there. I just thought the going down there sooner rather than later would give us a general idea. But even the lady downstairs, Ulia, 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 has said um, that's the one. Uh, has said <clears throat> that the crabs come from quite far out, so I'm, mm. I ha hesitate to send you down there on your own. If that is the only way, unless there's some sort of a submersible vessel that I'm unaware of. Well, we also have to be prepared for the possibility that it's not crabs at all and something else uh -huh. entirely. There is always uh, the possibility that the cat that wanted food lied to Rook. That too. Very unlikely. Uh, also, make, we should also that. hear out that meeting that Horus is going to uh, Yes. Yes. We don't know when that is, though. I mean, I hope as soon as possible. Me too. I don't want to spend all week on this quest. I have a number of other pressing matters to attend to. Of course. I could turn into a giant crab. But we cannot guarantee stone. your safety. Oh, I'm sure we can handle a bunch of crabs, supposedly. Yeah, we can. Well, under, we're underwater. Well, when Rook turns into a giant crab, would you think that he would be safe from uh, the satyrs? <laughs> I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, because I don't think that they will uh, turn the chance down on a giant crab. So... Here's the thing. It's not really like the sailors are on the bottom of the ocean wrestling with these giant crabs. They generally <laughs> lay traps, and I'm not I'm a not moron. A I'm not a fisherman. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Do they, they don't sumo wrestle with crabs at 200 feet? No, no, they don't. I thought they just dragged a giant net. I, if if I feel ever so inclined, I might get out of the way. I mean, I've seen Deadliest Catch, and they used big cages. Mm -hmm. What's Deadliest Catch? Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's a theatre performance where they pretend to catch crabs, and sometimes they catch small ones or big ones. It's, it's... Huh. And then they sell them, and at the end of the theatre performance, they tell you... It's, it sort of sums up how much money they made or didn't make. It's a very dreary affair, actually. Mm. People also like to eat weird stuff, so... Well, tell you what I can do. If, we're, if we want to err on the side of caution, um, I can make it so that um, I'm harder to detect um, while, while I'm in my new form, uh, and then I can go down as a shark I can kind of try to prowl around for a while. Hmm. Making yourself harder to detect, eh? Yes, using no, magic not... you've seen before. No, I didn't mean to click that. I meant. To <laughs> yes, we'll put that. On, we will put the disguise hat on a shark. 
Nice. And make it look like a bigger shark. <laughs> Hang on. So I could, in theory, make you invisible for an hour. No. And no, that also, no, I... that also, that no, that also works. Could help. I, I wonder if, um, perhaps saving the invisibility for, um, if we're doing a stakeout. Well, yes, that we... was the other thing I was thinking of using it for. But I, yeah, thought, I, mean, you know, I can just, I can just cast safe. Pass Without Trace and then I can go as a shark and then my odds are pretty good. Very well, if you're happy with that. Sure. I mean, part of me fears that we're listening very intently to the words of a cat, but, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, Who, who's, whose so words would you prefer we listen to? Not a cat. Okay, a dog, well, perhaps. Perhaps I'll go out and investigate the reef, uh, and you can um, talk to a dog. <laughs> I don't mean it in a in a. I just, I fear that maybe we could be chasing the I, wrong I lead. Am... But I think it is a lead we should definitely chase. Yeah, if if we had other leads, I would definitely um like seek to follow them up. But the only thing at the moment that we've seen that's actually indicated like the only other thing we can do is wait until it starts getting dark and try to catch whatever this is in the act. And it's such a wide area. True. Come on. Like there the risk we run already is we don't know even if it is the worms. We don't know A if they'll come tonight. Uh B where about they'll surface. Yes, I suppose that's true. Very well. I would just want you to be safe. And much appreciated. So shall I uh Know when you're ready, I suppose. I can go now. No point in wasting time. Oh, no, maybe. Um, would it maybe be slightly better to wait a couple of hours? For if it's true that the crabs um, are further out to sea, they would have to come closer to town to obviously steal from the town. We wait a couple of hours and then they'll be easier for you to spot, perhaps. Well, do you wanna do you wanna wait until maybe they're on the march? Yes, yes, just just a few hours until they get closer. Because it's only midday at the moment, and if they don't come out until it's dark We've got a few hours to wait until then anyway, so maybe just wait an hour and then and then go. Sure. Uh I was planning on uh, waiting until I had Taking a bit of a short rest so I can get some of my druidic abilities back that this little fella cast me, pats the oil on the head. Hey, uh, very well. Um, I think if everyone's happy to wait now. That seems fine. It's the only one that really we're going to be, you know, having to be completely prepared, I suppose. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll see you in an hour. I'm just going to um, finish up, finish up something, and then we'll go back into his room. Alrighty. What are you up to, uh, Kato and Roshana? Mm. Also trying yeah, to make something of this. <laughs> It would help if I wasn't muted. Um, <laughs> thinking emoji. Um, I definitely think it'd be worth talking to some of the dock workers. 
Surely some have noticed shiny objects being walked into the ocean. Okay. Have I died? Have I died? What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> yeah, Just waiting, can... like, um... <laughs> yeah, you can't see I that. feel like it's... Yeah. Are you going by yourself, Kato? You bring someone with you. Uh, would anyone like to accompany me? You know what? I'll go with you. I, I would. Are I'm you? just uh, finishing this. Thank you, though. And good luck. It kind of gives Vang the side glance. Mm. All right. Righty. We head back downstairs again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For the manniest time today. <laughs> <laughs> Getting your leg muscles working. Yeah, I think Julia thinks we're very weird. <laughs> she just watches you as you walk by. <laughs> Acknowledging glance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you take a look around and you see there are plenty of people still about. Um... Again, there are plenty of smaller docks about. Uh, like the, can the I biggest spot ship any... that you get? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, can I spot any dock workers? Yeah. You do, do see a few. Uh, I will walk up to one. Mm -hmm. You see he's currently just carrying a box of what looks to be equipment. Setting it down. Cracks his back as he stands up and looks over to you. Uh, if I could bother you for a moment of your time. Uh, sure. What's up? Um, we're conducting an investigation about people's belongings going missing. Uh, okay. Just wondering if you've seen or heard anything. Uh, no, man. Sorry. Have you noticed anything strange? Uh... In the water, or coming out of the water. Uh, no. Uh, catches have been a bit less than usual, but uh, start of the year and all that. It's still spawning season, mm -hmm. so. Hmm. And do you have any questions for him? No, actually not. Guess we'll have to ask around more. Do you know anyone that has lost things? The valuables that have strangely gone missing? Mm -hmm. Silver? Uh, I don't know many people around here who have uh, silver. Uh, anything, mm. really. Uh, most folks around here are Mm. more copper a day kind of folk. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, I want to ask about the houses maybe around here. The uh, thing with the dock workers is, is that we're constantly moving. So, of course. Uh, Understandable. <laughs> Thank you for your you time. Know. We'll leave you to it. Yeah. Uh, good luck. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. It's all right. What are the sewers like around here? Um. I mean, we smelt them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this side. Mm, give me a. Mm. 
give me just give me a perception check. Can I help as I've tasted the waters? <laughs> Six mm. <hatch. laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, it's right. gonna be that kind of week! Uh, oh. Sorry to be mean, but you know, that's an every kind of week for you, Kato. Oh my gosh! You'll have to get that amulet when you go back. Um, as you've been looking about, you haven't really... Well, even just thinking about like looking for manhole covers or um, pipes leading out into the ocean, you haven't really seen much. Um, you've seen a few outhouses. Uh, they might be more latrine-esque, though. You're not entirely mm -hmm. sure. That doesn't seem like it has its own, like, um... I guess, sort of, outflow system. Like, in... I've forgotten the region already. Uh, uh, like, the southern district? Yeah. Uh, if it does, you haven't seen it. Hmm, okay. There's no, like, water drain off system. Not that you can see. Excuse me. Hmm. Guess we have to ask around the few yes. people that live here. Let's skip that one lady. Yes, let's. She was very Rude. abrasive. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What can we see like about? Right? Yeah. What can we see about the houses? Yeah, let me take a look around at the different houses. Um, some are nice. Some are a little bit more squalid. What would you like to do? Which one would you like? Let's to go to? let's go to a nice one. Yeah. I'll knock. Yeah. You rap on the door and you see a young girl answers the door, maybe about 14. Um, oh. Hello? Hi. Are your parents home? Um, Mom? Yes, they made it! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, she's coming. Okay. Just one quick question. Have you seen anything suspicious around here? Is it vicious? Um. No. Okay. Nothing going missing. Um. Well, a few things went missing. Yeah. Hmm. What went missing? We're conducting an investigation. Okay. Um. Well. Dad said a couple of his buckets went missing. Buck. Buckets. Hmm. Okay. Um. We can we can wait for your mother. That's fine. Okay. Um. Thank you. She just kind of stands there awkwardly and kind of looks up the stairs, waiting for her mum to come down. Very much. Um. Child being left at the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that awkward moment. Le left at the uh, the grocery counter. Yeah, the conveyor belt, and all, yeah. all the food has been scanned through. Your mother said, "I'll be back in just a minute," and she wasn't back in just a minute. And you're you're just standing there looking at the cashier, going, "I don't have any money. I'm sorry." Um, it's not long before, eventually, the mother comes down. You see, she's drying her hair. Uh, can I help you? Uh, Ma'am, we're sorry to bother you. Um, we're conducting an investigation about people's belongings going missing. Nice. Um, your daughter said your husband's had lost some buckets? Um, yes, and, um, uh, uh, come in, please. This is all rather strange. And she takes a quick uh, look outside, sure. looking to see if anybody's about before she closes the door behind you. Mm. Sure. I'll step inside. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a bit odd, but um, I've, I've had a couple of my things go missing as well. Uh, see, these... she, she looks at you, and then she looks at her daughter, and she goes, Mum, I told you I didn't take it! Were these of silver, by chance? 
Or at least a reflective, shiny material. She looks like she wants to quit back at her daughter, and then she stops and looks at you. Uh, yes. Actually. Um, um. it was a little... Uh, <laughs> is it antique silver brush that I had? Um, it was silver with an enamel... Um, st enamel set into the, it, its, uh back and i had a little mirror as well matching one hmm okay You're all silver lined yes uh how long ago did these go missing uh about a week ago okay um Besides, did they go missing uh, has there uh, has there been anyone new in these parts um you Other know, than us, of course. Uh, and the sailors. Not recently. Um, mm. A lot of people here have pretty much lived here their whole lives. Mm. Mm. So, um, silver, you're saying? Yeah. Yes, it's. we've interviewed some other uh, uh, victims, and it seems like the common trait is silver objects. Or at the very least, reflective objects. Wow. She looks back at her daughter and says, Didn't you lose some of the money as well that you had gotten for your birthday? The daughter looks over at you and goes, Yeah, um, I had a little piggy bank. And um, it was smashed one day and the money was gone. Smashed? Mm. Yeah. Was this a, um, a glass-like or ceramic material? Uh, just, um, looks back at her mom. It, it was ceramic, yes. Okay. Mm. How long ago was the money taken, or were all these around the same time? Um, it was, it was about a month ago. Hmm. Oh, did you witness these? Uh, did you figure out these objects were taken in the morning? Well, I woke up and my piggy bank was broken, and, and the money was gone. And um, I just went to grab them off my vanity and. They went there. So you probably assume that the objects were taken in the night at some point. Well, I thought she looks a bit guiltily at her daughter. I'm sorry. I should have listened. I, I thought my daughter had taken them. It's understandable. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that might be all the questions for me, unless you have any. No, nothing really. Unless there... No, I don't think there is any, anything suspicious because the daughter didn't say so. So, your piggy bank was smashed and your mirror and brush were on the vanity. Uh, were these in particularly high places? Um, uh, not particularly. Um, I could show you quickly if you'd like. I. Oh yes, please. We could possibly see, um, maybe some evidence. Yeah. So she quickly brings you upstairs, and she shows you the vanity that is just off the side. It's a looks to be a master bedroom of some kind. Um. The vanity itself, it looks to be about desk height. It's not particularly high, but it's not particularly short either. Mm hmm. Um, is there like a, is there a window in this room? Uh, there is, yes. Uh, we'll go up to the window. Um, now what I'm assuming, since this house is probably quite aged, um, see if I can find any recent markings of intrusion. 
Okay. Uh, give me an investigation check, please. Oh, finally. Oh my god. Nice. Um, no markings of intrusion. <clears throat> it also looks like that this window does not open. It's, uh... One of those ones just to let light in, not air. Oh, so it straight up doesn't open. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Maybe hmm. check the other windows. Yeah. Um, uh, pardon me. Uh, does your daughter's room have a window? Um. Yes, it does. Uh, I. Well, I guess I'll just ask the all-around question. Do any of the windows in the house open? Oh, um, yes, they do. Um, the one in my daughter's room does, as well. Hmm, I see. Um, do you mind if we oh, have please, a look? Oh, please, by all means, yes. And I will uh, take a look at that window as well. Yep. Uh, this one op uh, does open, and again, you look around the windowsill, no markings. Mm. Mm. We'll need to have a stake out. Yes, um. I mean, this is very peculiar. Do you uh, ever leave this window open for any reason? Um, no, not unless it's to let a bit of air in. Is that, uh, is that frequent, or is that once in a blue moon kind of thing? Uh, well, not once in a Full moon. Want to keep the bad smells out, um, but it, it does get quite cold here as well. So trying to keep the heat in is quite important. Mm, okay. Well, uh, we thank you for your time, and again apologize for the uh, intrusion. Oh no, it's fine. Um. I'm gonna go speak to my daughter again. Of course, and uh, you have a lovely rest of your afternoon. Uh, you Thank you too. for your time, ma'am. You too. And we'll head back to the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, as you're walking back towards the tavern, you see a group of kids are walking around with them. Um, it looks to be like a couple of uh, wooden buckets, and as you pass by them, you see the wriggling inside these buckets are worms. Uh, one, <laughs> one small kid in particular doesn't have a bucket, so he's using like uh, the bottom half of his shirt. Um, he's kind of just like scooped up worms into it. One of the other kids manages to trip this little boy, and you just see he falls flat onto his face. The worms go everywhere. <laughs> oh. Poor child. Uh, <laughs> you see one of the uh, poor kids. Sorry. I will ahead. approach the child. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. Get up. Get your worms. <laughs> Alright. You see his face is bright red and he's currently just like rubbing at his eyes. You see, the other kids have run off at this point with their buckets and uh, have circled around to where the fishermen are sat on the docks and are. They look to be felling their worms. Hey, come on, get your worms. You see, he just stands up and uh, he begins trying to <laughs> pick his worms off and put them back onto his shirt. There you go. Run along. You see, he's running off again, but 
trying to hold onto the hem of his shirt with the two hands, uh, but he tries to rub at his face again. Half the worms go topping out oh, onto the oh. ground. Oh. But he keep he waddles after the rest of them. He tries to sell the remaining worms he's got. Uh, I'll hand him. Uh, I will hand him a uh, a cup from my mess kit. <laughs> you see, this boy is barely four. Very young kid. Um, mm. but he takes it from you and still <laughs> he's still yeah, trying to catch his breath. He's um, he scoops the rest of the worms or as much as he can into the cup before he runs back. <laughs> Help, help him with his worms. <laughs> that is not a sentence I ever thought I'd hear coming from your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help him with his worms. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Eventually you turn back towards the tavern. Walk inside and you see there's a, a few more people sat about. Um... They seem to have gotten their lunch from Yulia and are quietly just sitting by themselves and whiling their time away. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I'm gonna go up and convey uh, the information to Rook and Vane. Mm hmm. Alright, see? It feels like we're playing Dollhouse every time I have to move. <laughs> Team back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice though, I like it. Nature nature of the game. Mm -hmm. A Sylvanian family, isn't it? Yes. Calico critters. <laughs> You're back in knock your on, house. Knock, knock on Rook's, Rook's knock, door. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got some information. Cool. So, it's, it's probably not crabs, just to let you know. Well, oh, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> so, we spoke... We spoke to... Oh my god. So fucking dumb. <sighs> Children, the lot of you. You carry on. We, we spoke to... This mother and her daughter. The mother had a mirror and brush, a two piece set, of course, uh, lined in silver, as you probably expect, missing from her vanity, and the girl had missing some money, presumably silver pieces, from her piggy bank that was smashed. Uh,. The items were in their respectable rooms, and none of the windows or other access points had signs of forced entry. So but it's clear from the smashed piggy bank that they do physically have to interact with the coins or the items yes. they're taking. The piggy bank was about a month ago and the brush and mirror set was about a week ago and the money from the daughter was about a month ago hmm. I mean, we could always pile up some silver and wait it out yeah. I assume the the individuals were there when the stuff was taken, but perhaps asleep. Which is which is strange now that I'm thinking about it, because you would the... imagine you would hear something smash. Yes, precisely. She said she woke up with it smashed. Hmm. Then it should be someone who knows what they're doing. Right. I know I know something above game, but I <laughs> I don't know about that spell. 
Um, well, I mean, yes, I we could just pile up some silver on, in one of our rooms and and wait. Oh. I mean, if it was a week ago and a month ago, perhaps it's more regular than one would expect. Perhaps they come up every night and people just don't notice. Somehow. Maybe. Um, it could Maybe. be worth, yeah. perhaps, for a stakeout measure. Someone should brag about having that much silver. I look towards Vein. <laughs> Um, which one of our rooms has a, a window? Do all of them have uh, windows? They all do, they're just not on the map because I made it an hour before we started right. the game, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You made this, an, made this an hour before the game? That's impressive. It's insane. She got skills. Yeah. It's not my craft, um, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just means you know your craft. Um, Thank you, Incarnate. But... <laughs> Uh, but regardless, um, perhaps an idea is that we could perhaps leave some silver out, let's say, trailing out of a bag on, you know, on the dresser while we pretend to be asleep and perhaps wait for an intruder. Don't see an issue with that. Because it has to be has to be open enough so that it's noticeable. Well, I mean, not... how would they have known that their piggy bank would have had silver in it? Well, I mean, one generally puts money inside of a piggy bank. Yes, but how would they have known that the piggy bank was there? Is what Maybe I meant, like... because it was a there was a window for the girl. So maybe they're targeting families and houses that are better off. <laughs> Or that's another. No, there's money. That's uh, that's another thing too. Um, were these were both rooms on the first floor? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, I'm yeah. asking. Of... Uh, uh, <laughs> Do you have? They would have been upstairs. That's your second floor, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, for us, it would have been the ground floor. <laughs> Go up to the oh, first floor. Well, it's on floor zero. Me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's gone into okay. the back room. It's it's, it's the zero floor. Mm. Yeah, zero. Okay, zero okay. It so it was upstairs. Was upstairs. Yep. Zero. Wait, wait, wait. Floor, oh. we're, we're, yeah, it we're... matters less when they don't have elevators. Well, were both rooms upstairs? Yes, they were. Okay, that's right. Because she came downstairs. That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, it's. Also probably worth mentioning that whoever the intruder is, is rather adept at climbing. Mm -hmm. Or being very, very sneaky. I mean, if I had the choice to try and break into a building from the front door versus an upstairs window, then... I would personally choose the front door. Yes. Seems I feel like, like extra that. work, personally, but, uh... What? Uh, getting through a front door seems like less or more work than climbing the side of a building. Well, because the front door is conspicuous, it's facing the street. Well, yes, but if there's no one out. Or if you make it look like you live there, or some such. I find we're in a bit of a unique situation at the moment. Because if, if we're presuming that the individual um, is, like, in the town and, like, capable of uh, understanding that people have particular wealth, then if we want to bring their attention to us having it without it looking like a trap, our best option would be to have someone walk around the town, buy a couple of things with silver, maybe have, like, a silver necklace or something and then return back here for the night. The reason mm -hmm. why it's uh, strangely fortuitous is that the only individual that hasn't gone around town actively looking and asking questions 
of the people has been a vain. True. Perhaps that's not really an issue because he can disguise himself. Um, that's actually true. Can you disguise yourself to make it look like you've got a whole bunch of silver necklaces? Um, yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. mm. I disguise Although myself I, I don't... as as what the fuck was his name? Croft. Well, yeah, Croft. Croft, but with a bunch <laughs> of silver necklaces. I have about 18 silver pieces. I have about nine. I've got, I've got all these silver necklaces. Well, we just mean for a, a bag on your, like, Oh, I've table. got 90 silver on me. Okay, well, you can just, like, stack that up on a, beside a window for when you go to bed. Yes, yeah, it works for me. We do need to be careful because whoever's doing this has some unique ability to go unseen and is for some reason using them for this scale of robbery. Mm -hmm. Which either means they're desperate and they have a conscience, or they're skilled and they have no ambition. True. Wow. Or they're trying to be very inconspicuous. Or my you point of steal... being a... You don't steal the most expensive thing, you steal the thing that people will miss slightly less than they're less inclined to reported well, i mean a birthday girl will miss her silver that she got on her birthday. yes but her parents who are living in a well-off house might be able to replace that silver true whereas but... if it were priceless jewels or gold mm, less so well she seemed the mother seemed rather attached to that uh mirror and brush set mm -hmm. See, so oh, yeah. this is where, like, it begins to get a little bit iffy because with how much is gone and the variety of items, if it was someone looking for purely financial gain, then they would have to turn those items that have to sell them somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Both it's items that are but, made of silver. Right. That's another thing, is why silver, why not melt it go down for gold? Into something else. That's true. They could be trying to use it for something. But for what, though? I guess we're going to find out. There were people downstairs. Maybe we could ask them. Ask them what would they use a large amount of silver for? No, ask them if they have maybe seen anything. Hmm. So, just, just so quickly. Um... I could sneak outside, become a relatively well-off looking person with silver and a uh, silver necklace and a silver pouch on my person and just wander around for a bit and then come back, ask for a room. Yeah, I, I feel like the important on. part is that you don't look like you're an important individual that has any real sway. You wanted to make it look like Taking these items from you won't garner any real action yes. from the guard. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, I'll just make myself look like... A commoner with average, silver. Yes, the average Joe who's just had a, a good job or something. So, how about we do this, um, Vane? You can go around setting this trap. Uh, Roshanna and uh, Kato, if you want to question some individual's downstairs by all means and then I will jump into the ocean um, and then we'll pull, we'll come back in an hour <laughs> on our information. I, was, I was not expecting that, that took me out I, I was waiting for that, that that line of dialogue <laughs> it's yeah. just it sounds like it's set up like a comedy bit. <laughs> yeah, you can go around and pose as a, a guy with a good job. You can go down and <laughs> go down and talk to some folks, and I'll jump in the ocean. And then when I come back from the ocean, uh, we'll pull our information and we'll lie and wait. Very well. Um, just... I know, you know... It's been an interesting day, but so you're saying it was mildly beneficial for me not to show my face. 
No, I I was stating that it's it's beneficial for you to be to look like someone who's not been affiliated with us in particular. Because yeah, if it's well, a so I if it's a person like myself. You could, yes. Okay. Just yourself with silver. That's noticeable. You could even make it like um like a silver holy symbol of some sort, just around your neck. Just don't be so on the nose about it. Another thing that might be good to consider is that whoever this individual is could be um, skillful in the arcane. Yes. And or a I'm, crab. I'm... I don't think they are a crab, but... <laughs> I'm still with luck I, here. I definitely think they're crabs. I turn hit me I, with a broom. I, I turn my that. whole I turn my whole body and head towards Rook. I, I guess, don't I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come and sit in Rook's room. Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Kato, since you seem to be having uh, trouble suspending your disbelief, did you miss the part earlier where I said I could turn into a crab? That's not the part that I'm having trouble believing it's the part of a crab supposedly sneaking into a house in the dead of night, smashing a piggy bank, and then making off with its silver. That that I seems believe. to be a presumption that you've jumped to. All I'm without merely, waking I'm, anyone in the house. I'm merely saying that the crabs are related and are accomplices. To be Perhaps. fair, he did, but speak to a cat, speak yeah. to a raccoon, speak to I've, a cow. I've never suggested the crabs were working alone. <laughs> Are you suggesting some sort of crab mancer? Perhaps, because I don't know if you've ever seen crabs in a bucket. They could individually easily get out of a bucket. The big thing that keeps them in the bucket is all the other crabs pulling them down. I am. That's that's true, by the way. I am concerned how you know this. You just look at a bucket of crabs. Crabs are tasty. <laughs> I'm wondering how long you've spent looking into a bucket of crabs. We see a lot when we keep our eyes wide open, Kato. <laughs> what is this game? Apparently so. It does amuse me that you cease to be surprised. No, you never cease to be surprised. You would think so, after some of the things I've seen. Hmm. Right. Shall we get to it, then? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'll make myself look like a random individual. Called Vain Durand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, no. so who's the random. stranger? Um, but I'm gonna zhuzh myself to make myself look a bit, um, like I have a silver, um, instead of my silver vial, I've got a silver pendant, okay. um, some silver rings, and, um, a nice hefty pouch of, uh, silver coin on my Oh, proper my merchant, merchanting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Think Monty, but vain. And with silver instead of gaudy gold. Lovely. Also, no uh, beret hat because I'm not doing anything. Oh, actually, no, I do have a beret hat. It's, well, it's a flat cap. I can be whatever you want. Oh, baby. Uh, Rook will take out a silver piece, uh, put it in his mouth as a treat he'll use later, head down to the dock, <laughs> and make himself look like a reef shark. Okay. Please get in the water first. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he'll run and jump off the pier and then become You'll a flop. Reef shark. Body that flop. is inconspicuous. There's going to be some dock worker who is like Absolutely about to put up impressive. a bottle of whiskey, a, <laughs> bottle, a bottle of whiskey out to his mouth. Watch you do that and then decide against the bottle. Look, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, but also, stop someone's <laughs> alcoholism. <laughs> Druids are a thing, and I will not apologize. <laughs> oh, there's no it's dispute. Not... There's no dispute about that. It's just that these people have probably never seen it. 
because as the lady said, most of them have lived here all their lives. True. I, I will also um, cast Passport a Trace on myself before I turn into a uh, Nice sharp. one. Yeah. Sounds good. So, Rook pushes past, goes running down the pier, down the dock, leaps into the air, and um, with perfect <laughs> diver form, Turns shark into a reef shark midair, and amazing. Uh, like passing through a barrier, you just see the the head, then the torso, then the legs turn into a reef shark, and starts choking on a silver piece. Plunks into the water. And again, uh, there's a bottle of whiskey now just left on the dock. Hmm. Okay, Vane, you are going to careen around. Yep, I'm uh, going to walk out. I'm going to nod at uh, Ulia. Ulia. U Ulia. Ulia. Oh. oh. Kind of gives you a bit <laughs> of a glance as you walk by. Afternoon. Uh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm staying here. I'm just uh, looking a bit different today. Okay. Oh. I'll wink and then walk out. All right. <laughs> and I'm assuming you're just going to pimp walk around. <laughs> I'm straight. I, I, like, if I thought about it beforehand, I would have given myself a little cane with a drum <laughs> on it. But... Okay. Mm. Little silver but... fur coat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And with a and, a and like a silver boa. You you do remember mm. the part where it has to look like you don't have any power, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Pimps, <laughs> pimps don't have power, man. Uh huh. Only the power that people allow them to have. We could solve uh -huh. the problem. Mm -hmm. the pimp that can yeah, literally which, that which, can literally which, be which said is, about anything. Yeah, which camp? Which isn't true for like you know the whole government. Yeah. And the poor, you know, men's and women's is they have to give the pimp the money. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, yeah, you, you've, got a bit, you've got a bit of a <laughs> swagger as you're walking around, just to garner a little bit of attention, make people look twice. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm also a purple man. Oh, 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 I didn't want to say it, but thank you. Um, Just give me a... How long do you want to go walking around? And, you know, mm. doing a little flash of the silver every now and then. Um... I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say I wish I'd asked Rook how long his fishy form lasts, um, but I will say in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Okay. okay. What's the time now, actually? Oh, about three. About three-ish, we'll say. Yeah, I guess. We'll say two hours. Okay. Uh... And if I can find, see anywhere that's like... Um, like a storefront or something i'll go and i'll i'll stand in front of it and and kind of twiddle my um finger around the the coin purse a little bit and go hmm, no maybe later and then carry on and okay you know. uh just give me a performance check please with advantage because you've got the whole garb on and you're trying to real uh, sell it <laughs> Reef shark, nom nom nom. I just saw that. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, that's what that's what I was chucking at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reef shark rook. Nom nom. Uh, nom. Advantage. Mm -hmm. mm, very oh. nice. Good rolls. Uh, yeah, you definitely get. Uh, well, as a teethling, you are used to, unfortunately, garnering even just a little bit of attention from our swipes. Racism. Yeah, our swipes, but uh, this time, you know, you're getting, you know, a second, a third glance back as you're walking around with just a little bit of the silver, with a bit of bit of swagger. The ladies and a couple of the gentlemen are loving it. Damn straight. I'm yeah. looking at a suave. Nice. Can I? No, actually, I won't. But yeah, I'll just be doing that for two hours. Mm -hmm. Maybe wink at a couple of people. Alrighty. Uh, Rook, oh, sorry, 
uh, yeah, we'll hop to you, Rook, in a second. Uh, Kato and Rashana, what are you up to? You chatting away to the people in the bar? I am first going to order an ale. Good stuff. Yeah. Then I plop myself down at a table and I will observe people first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will join her. Nice. And Judy says, uh, this is all on, um, Mr. Memphine's, uh, purse, so please don't worry. Enjoy as much as you like. Thank you. Good, thank you. Yeah. Um, currently at this time, you see that the people who are here for lunch have kind of left, but as oh. the hours trickle on, you see more and more people are starting to arrive. Crowds at this point. Um, you hear them say, oh, what does Mr. Men think God is here for now? It seems that this uh, community uh, meeting is going to happen a lot sooner than you were expecting. That's quick. Word seems to have gotten yeah. around. Hmm. Hmm. We should sit in on that. Yeah, we should. Uh, where is this being held? Are you asking one of the patrons, or? Yeah, yeah. or Yulia. Uh, uh, we were told it was meant to be here. Uh, ah, okay. Some fella just came down to the docks and shouted that there was going to be a meeting, so here we are. And for the free drink as well. Uh, we do care about the community, but, you know, times are tough. All right. Of course. You do see numerous ales are being... Uh, place down. Yudia has really got her work cut out for her. She's placing like, <laughs> several steins down on the tables. Ooh. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. No wonder she looks so tired. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. What table looks inconspicuous? Uh, pretty much all of them. There aren't that many. Uh... Right over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you do see the lady who was uh, sat there. She's currently enjoying some uh, fish and chips that have just been sloshed with vinegar. She goes, um, oh, are you one of the adventurers that have been sent? Oh, I am. Okay. Um, I hope you can you can find the things that have been going missing. Um, I had a brooch um, that my, my late husband gave to me and I'm yeah, I'm rather missing it. Hmm. I, I take it this brooch was kept on you at all times? Um, uh, no, I, I tended to wear it for special occasions. Um, I, I'm starting to realize now I, I probably should just wear it. Salt for special occasions. Hmm. And where was this kept? No, oh, it was kept in a little box. On, um, on my dresser. Mm. Was the whole box taken, or did you find the box empty? Uh, I found the box um, on the floor. Very strange, however. Um, I mean, I have quite a few vases that uh, would fetch quite a bit of money. And she keeps her voice down as she's saying this to you. They would fetch mm -hmm. quite a bit of money. But, um... No, you thought it was the brooch that was gone. And unfortunately, that meant more to me. This brooch was made of silver. It, yes. How odd. Let's see. Hmm. This seems for just so you know. Uh, most things being taken are that of silver. Yeah. It's very strange. Yes. We're trying to figure out why one might need such a large quantity of silver. Well, I would have thought the value of it, dear. Uh, I, I mean, there are a few folks around here who, um, 
certainly are um, a bit more affluent, but the majority of people here are hand to mouth, living uh, pay to pay, you know? Right. Could, it could be the material, mm -hmm. or perhaps a particular market is requiring silver. In either case, we are still investigating. Right, well, um, good luck to you. I, I do hope you find things just to keep people at ease. Um, I think, well, I certainly thought I was going crazy. One more question. <laughs> Please, we're here to help. Very thankful. This, uh, the room from which your brooch was taken, was there a window and is it able to be opened? Uh, there, there is a small window, yes. Um, it can be, but um, I, I tend to keep it close. It's, it gets very cold. Yeah. Right. The one downside about being beside the sea. Hmm. Roshana, uh, you've mm -hmm. sat down one, at one of the tables and you see the big guy beside you. Mm -hmm. The B.O. hits your nostrils before he oh. even turns to speak to you. He goes, that's oh. a big belch. Oh. You know, my wife le left me two months ago. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Rashad. Sorry. Yeah, just because I gave her a shitty gift. Uh huh. I had a new ring for her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it got taken. Like mm. that. Was that a uh, ring made out of silver? I was told platinum. Oof. Platinum. Oof. And now look at me. I'm 43. Got no job. <laughs> no prospects. What's a pretty little thing like you doing in a place like this? Oh, God. Ruling an investigation, sir. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Rashana like a very cringed, <laughs> cringed look. <laughs> like I am so sorry. I shake it off. <laughs> Sir, maybe you should uh, tone down on the alcohol. No, fans. Gets me through the day. I miss uh. her. Uh, oh god. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm to try and like combat the awkwardness. I'm gonna wa walk up to Roshana and kinda say like Oh good. Uh this lady has some information for us and uh had I wanted to pass some information to you. Uh yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so yeah, you sit down just... with Rashana and <laughs> the lady reiterates everything. The smell is still lingering in your nostrils a little bit. Uh, no, oh, he smells so bad. I do say just... that out loud. I'll just, I'll just, oh, I'll just say to Rashana. <laughs> I am so sorry. That doesn't make it better! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, oh, Jesus. Rook, uh, as oh, all no, of this no, is going see. on, you are and I, I see. You've splooshed into the water, and it is invigorating to be in this form, to be able to swim through the water. It's like flying through the air and you get to uh, control every altitude and the speed you go at it's a breathtaking sight underneath here as well you can see the uh, ground beneath the different sands and the shoal 
the fishes that are swimming through the seaweed. It is very beautiful. You also see a load of, um, you know, broken barrels and everything around here as well. Uh, For sure. Yep. Yeah, pieces of rope uh, and uh, whatnot that have just been cast into the ocean. How how deep is it? Like, um, how far out do I need to go before the light stops, like, reaching the bottom? Um, you don't need to go too far. About... Only about 50 feet. It's pretty deep here. You know, um, just from the map that you've seen plenty of times as well, um, a lot of ships like come into this inlet towards the shipyard. Um, so here there isn't really beach. It's mostly just like a straight dot drop down into the water. You might have like rocks on the, on the uh, immediate coast, but there isn't like a beach or anything like that. It's not a gentle slope. It's a drop and then slopes down further again. I see. Yeah, so the um the reef shark does have thirty foot of blind sight. Mm -hmm. Um so just when when because I don't get to, to bring my dark vision into this form. Mm -hmm. For whenever I go uh deeper, but Rook's just gonna spend time uh going around and seeing if he can pick up on anything, like any like maybe dropped bit like any what what sort of sea life we're getting at the bottom here he's kind of keeping an eye out for any 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 crabs that are crab like but weird different mm -hmm. um yeah and stuff like that yeah it's uh mostly smaller fish here every now and then you do actually spot a crab um they're roughly I'm trying to think of a They're roughly the size of a bowl. I'll say that, <laughs> if that makes sense. If they're like, right. if their legs were to be curled in, um, it'd be like a cereal bowl. <laughs> okay, a bowl. Yeah. Did I say bowl? For a minute, I Sorry. no, I heard bowl, and I was like, "That's oh. fairly large." <laughs> a bowl. Okay. I, stay stay away from the hulking crab. Yeah. Um, you take it. Mm. When the light does streak down, though, you do see that these aren't. Uh, like shiny in any way whatsoever they seem to be um, either brownish or black and you can tell just by looking at them that these aren't really what you'd want to be eating mm -hmm. um, and they just scuttle their way sideways across uh, the sands returning to their dens nothing <laughs> excuse the pun fishy about any of the wildlife here that you've seen I get it um after going around for a while and like not really picking up on anything, mm -hmm. uh, he'll look for a spot that maybe like juts up from the ocean floor a little bit more so it like the light does hit it. Mm -hmm. And then he will drop uh, the silver coin from his mouth on it uh, and then swim back and like begin to hide a little bit and keep an eye on it. Okay. Uh, just give me a. Well, you've got past without a trace. So yeah, stealth's pretty good. Uh, we'll say perception check for the sure. uh, reef shark. Um, it, yeah, it's my perception because of yeah. the mental stuff. Uh... Nice. Um, yep. Yeah. You wait around. Nothing seems to be interested in it. Okay, I'll I'll pretty much stick around and like continue this process for the duration of Pass Without a Trace, and then mm -hmm. once he gets close to being up, I'll head back. Righty. Yeah, it. Uh, after a bit of uh, trawling and prowling around, as they are reef sharks predators. I feel like I should know that. I feel like they probably are. They look like it. Yeah. After they're often yeah. used by. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, I remember their name. They're called like they're called sea devils. Uh, can't remember. There's a type of monstrosity that uh, uses reef sharks to, and they get pack tactics. So, that uh, okay. help. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. It's a bit cold here for a reef shark, but you adapt just fine. Um, yeah, as you're prowling around, nothing catches your attention and you feel like you're, the timer is ticking and you swiftly swim back to shore. Uh, yeah. You have to use your powerful uh, fin, though, to be able to hop back up onto the dock. So it's very much a reversal of uh, what you did before. There's yeah, a it's a little less elegant. Well, so. Yeah, kind of a flop and then a turn back. He'll, um, he'll like, go up as quick as he can and then latch onto the edge of the dock with his teeth mm -hmm. and then he will turn back and quickly grab the edge of the dock as well. <laughs> Nice. Cool beans. I'm gonna head back in. Mm -hmm. I think we'll say it's about five ish at this point. Um. Huh. Huh. And uh, Rook, and at some point, Fane, you return to find that the place is. Packed. People. And poor Kato oh, is hidden there's now. There's, there's people in like in my corner. Why are there people in my corner? <laughs> you don't get to be the corner emo boy. <laughs> it's called being inconspicuous. It's called being sure. edgy. Edgy. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Horace Minthine, you see, is walking around. Everyone is jabbering at this point. Uh, drinks have been had, as well as some food. Um, you do smell uh, fish and chips in the air. If you'd like to take some. But uh, Horace turns to look back at the clock, and then with his little sherry glass, he has a spoon just ding, 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 on the side of it. Yeah. Thank you all for coming to the... Uh, uh, community meeting uh, on such short notice as well but uh, I wanted to say that uh, I have uh, invited to stay with us for a little while um, adventurers from the Adventurers Guild and he waves his hand towards Roshana and Kato who are standing nearby I just give a wave so um, I would like to make a list of things that have gone missing um I am certain that uh, you all have heard, at least from other people, that uh, things of a silver nature have been going missing, and we're not entirely sure why. Of course, we cannot uh, trust in our local law enforcement, for they are much too busy dealing with other more important things, so they say. So, we have to take matters into our own hands. Now, uh, I would like you all to uh, please write down, or express to myself, or anyone else with a uh, uh, clipboard of anything that has gone missing um, and we shall get to it post haste. Um, would our adventurers like, and, like to say anything? Uh, sure. <clears throat> uh, the investigation is currently ongoing as you probably uh, guessed. Um, we do have a couple ideas, but no hard evidence or facts at this time. You hear at the back, uh, towards the front, you hear, They took my belt buckle! And people start standing up, They took my tea set, my belt buckle! Uh, <laughs> my uh, shoes have gone missing? Are, are you looking for those? You know, my ship was capsized not too long ago. I bet there was a load of silver off of that. You know, I haven't been able to find my candlesticks, but then again, my ex might have taken them before the move. <laughs> Maybe there's, there's if everyone of... would just line up. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of rabble, um, rabble, 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 rabble. Can, <laughs> while all this is going on, mm -hmm. can Vane literally just be sat there and just like eye up every single person in the. Um, like subtly, not. Not aggressively, okay. but um, just trying to see if anyone looks like out of place, shifty. Um, yeah, 
Does anyone uh, look like they are sizing people up? Okay, uh, you two, please give me perception checks. Um, the only other thing right. I'm able to check is, I assume, I think this is a window? Yes, it is. Um, I'd like to kind of keep occasionally glancing out of it, because with everyone being here, it's a really good time to rob everyone. <laughs> For anyone? For anyone? Mm. 13. 13. As you're looking at the window vane, don't see a soul. It seems like the vast majority of people are here. Um... Kato, on the other hand, you're looking about for people who are kind of sizing the other up. And there are a few who seem to be looking about everyone else. However, it seems that they are all very drunk. Hmm. I bet you fucking took it, didn't you, you bastard? <laughs> a bottle is smashed on the table and the guy... Puts the uh, broken into the bottle up to your guy's face. I didn't do it. I promise, I didn't do it. I'm looking for, I'm looking for me ewers, mate. That's all. <sighs> if you would please calm down. Okay, the clipboards are going around now. We're going to take a list. But you see, Horace has a couple of uh, helpers. We'll call them, uh, running around to the different tables and just jotting things down. Um, but, oh, sorry. Is there uh, anything else that you would like us to do? Wait, who's saying that? Uh, Horace to Roshana. Okay. Uh, I look towards Kato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, given that the perpetrator seems to be targeting specifically uh, things of silver nature it's relatively safe to assume that non-silver items that have been gone missing is not the same perpetrator right so well I, I figured that out long ago but uh, perhaps we don't tell them just yet just see what is going missing first right um, it could also be worth mentioning to you that someone had a piggy bank that was um, seemingly smashed in the night. So seeing as it might be difficult to smash something without waking someone up, uh, it could be possible, although don't quote me on this, that the perpetrator could be magically inclined. Oh. Oh, good heavens. Um... Well, uh, um, you have magic users amongst yourselves, yes? Yes. Yes. Um, I, I have faith. Yes. Can I, um, while they're having the, this conversation, I want to, like, kind of meander through this press of people here mm -hmm. uh, to the bar and say, uh, and then kind of spill a few silver onto the bar and say, <laughs> oh, can I have something to eat, please? It seems to be a lot of talking going on here, so the service is, uh, uh, obviously you're busy. Um, right away, um, just two, <laughs> Thank you. two minutes, please. And you do see the, uh, tables beside you, Vane, are very much looking in your direction. Hey, uh, hey Kato. Uh, yeah. Is um is that a mother and daughter you spoke to earlier here? Uh, let me look. Uh, DM. I look around. Uh, they don't seem to be. No. Uh, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Why well, was there? See. Um, was... which side of the room would you say are the most people? Oh. Uh, it's kind of even Stevens at the moment. Um, people are kind of just sitting wherever they can get a seat. Mm -hmm. I'd say roughly to the left. Uh, okay. So kind of like this this half. If you go uh -huh. that way and then this half here. Okay. 
Okay, because I want to cast Zone of Truth around there. Ooh, okay. Ooh. That is ballsy. Um, this is this is never gonna go well. Ask everyone if I'm <laughs> fair with anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast sleep on this side of the room and we'll go from there. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, listen, I have spell slots left. I can cast it another time. That's fair. Oh no. <laughs> She's rolling a lot of dice. Well, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's go ask around. Alrighty. You see, the people have started like looking at each other a bit funny on this side of the room. I, I'm feeling tongue-tied. I don't know why. Wait, uh, who's saying this? Uh, just one of the women that you hear nearby, Kato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like in the group of people beside you here. Wait, where is she casting that exactly? Where she is. <laughs> right now, are you doing it around here? Uh, let me just uh areas range. of effect because it's fifteen radius. Yep. So does this work? Oop. No, no. Oh my gosh. Uh, these people here. Okay. Like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta yeah. do sleep, Bane. <laughs> Sleep's bigger, isn't it? Sleep's yeah, it is much bigger. Twenty, Sleep's yeah. Big. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would the rest of you guys hmm. like to ask? Oh boy, this is a loaded situation here. Yeah, Very it is. delicate. But you don't Very know that I have casted this, so. I saw you cast something. Uh, <laughs> you saw. Uh, <laughs> Miss Shauna, what, uh, what are you doing? Just ask people the questions. You want me to just ask people questions? Mm-hmm. Okay. Might get messy, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, man, where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone actually seen something of silver be taken? You do see a couple of people. Um, one person here raises their hand and two people here raise their hands. Um, Rook, if you could uh, focus, uh, focus on the people on the right side and I'll take the left. Sure. Thank you. Uh, I will point at one of the two that rose their hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you there. Uh, yes. You, you claim you saw something? Um, I, I spotted one of the worm grabbers. They might have stolen a coin or two. You mean the hmm. worm grabbers? Do you the children. are these children? Yes. And this was specifically a silver coin. Yes. How long ago was this? Uh, I can't recall. I think about a week ago. Hmm. Is Why anyone does else familiar? Feel funny. Might be the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Have anyone else had an encounter with these? Uh, worm-grabbing children. Yeah, I have. 
You see one of the fishermen puts his hand up. Uh, can you describe the experience? Uh, I give them a copper and they give me worms as bait. Fair enough. And more specifically, in the case of stolen silver. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there was the other person on this side too, that... Yeah, the other person that rose her hand? Uh-huh. Oh, gesture towards them? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? You said you had seen something of silver being taken. Yep. What did you see? I saw my bucket. Your it just bucket. walked away. Wait, your sorry, your silver? Sorry, what was that, uh, Roshana? Your bucket was silver? Uh. Uh, the bucket wasn't, but the handle was. And you said the bucket walked away. Yep. At half look at... of a pace. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Uh, rook? At how quick of a pace? Oh, pretty quick. I tried to run after it. Couldn't catch it. Like a, cr like a crab crawl. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know much be pretty about nippy. crab crawling. Um... I eat crabs, I don't watch them run. Did it grow legs and walk away? Uh, 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 I hope not. Anyone else and seen anything suspicious? Well, just real quick. Uh, where, did it, where did it run away to? Did it run to the ocean? Uh, no, it went back in. Inland. Hmm. And where did you lose track of it? I followed it for a good half an hour, I think. My legs were awful tired. Yeah. It was... I could see the Adventures Guild from where I stopped. Hmm. And uh, where did DM. Start? Sorry, I've got two things going on. Right? I know, I, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Uh, I just asked, where did he start? Uh, my house is only around the corner. Hmm. Sorry, Kato, you were going to ask me? Uh, yes. Uh, is there a local Adventures Guild? Uh, yep, the one you attend. <laughs> <laughs> you, around... <laughs> well, I, I assume he didn't get within eyesight of the, the Adventures Guild. After only walking for half an hour. Well, I was running, but, um, uh, the Adventure Guild is a pretty tall building, and the wall around it is uh, fair tall, enough. So you can't spot yeah. it on clear days. Uh, would, I wasn't it's aware of that. Building. Yeah, no worries. Okay, um. But it's in that direction. <laughs> right. Says. Can you describe the area where you last saw it? It, it was an alleyway. Um, I, I don't remember much of the area. I was more so trying to recall how to get back. I, I understand. Thank you for information. Um, did anyone else... <laughs> this is going to sound very strange. Did anyone else witness... Their items of silver seem to walk away. I see people are sharing looks with each other, and yeah, that's a lot of a lot of people are looking back at the man who said that his bucket <laughs> ran away, <laughs> uh, very curiously. Uh, how late in the evening was it that uh, your bucket? That's a, that's a good question. Uh, I had just 
come home, so it was about one, two in the morning. Hmm. <laughs> Did anyone else, uh, I gotta, I gotta think how to word this. <laughs> oh my god. Did anyone else happen to... Uh, did anyone else believe that their items were stolen in the night? Did anyone else wake up and their items were missing? You see people's hands start raising. Nearly everyone. Okay, well that at least confirms the nighttime theory. Who doesn't raise their hands? Vane, That's a... Vane that... doesn't raise his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Vane, you're it! <laughs> uh, you do see a few people here, Roshana, in the circle, and uh, one or two here as well. Mm -hmm. For now, I focus on the circle. Mm hmm. Hmm. For those um... that... Go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> for those that didn't go missing in the night, when did you realize they were missing? You see the uh, a younger gentleman here stands up. He says, uh, "My savings. Um, well, like." Half of it was gone. Um, like, I was putting things into the box. I wasn't taking anything out. And then when I went to go look at it, it, it was just empty. Well, half empty. You know what I mean? All well, the silver was gone. And when was the last time you checked the box before you noticed it was half empty? Uh, I think it was roughly half full at the time. And I was about to go on a uh, big trip. So... Uh, I went on that trip about six months ago. And then you came back and the silver was gone. Yeah. Well, I came back from the trip and I was I was continuously adding money to it. And then, well, I, I hadn't really weighed it, you know? I just wasn't thinking. I was just concerned with so, topping it up. So, if, if I'm understanding you correctly... You had filled it up before you went on a trip, then you were gone for six months, and then you came back, and then noticed the silver was no, gone. I, I half filled it, went on my trip, I came back, I was topping it up all the time, went to go, I went and I opened it to see what was in it, and it was like less than when I first went off on the trip, and there was no silver in there. So the time you spend topping it up it was about six months. Just less than six months because I came back from the trip. Uh, can I just ask really quickly if yes. anyone here? didn't actually lose anything and I was just hoping to get something out of pretending they had. <laughs> that's that's a loaded question. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, um, give me an insight oh check, my... Rook, with advantage. Oh my god. It's the real uses of... Oh, oh no! my gosh. <laughs> Some people are looking really shifty right now in the circle of... Can we see which ones? Uh, you'd have to give me an insight check yourself, kiddo. I would. I would like to. Yeah. I'm gonna message you real quick. Okay. While all this is going on, Bane is. Uh... Like thumbing a silver piece between his thing fingers, mm -hmm. and kind of just glancing around the room, looking uh, confused-ish, um, and just goes, "Why don't you just ask them if they stole them?" 
or if they know who's stolen. Uh, well, we'll, we'll see. Fair enough. And I'll turn back to the bar and give, like, um, as if I'm not caring that much about what's going on. I'm more interested in my wine and my food. Mm -hmm. I will also say, oh, can I uh, get some wine as well with that meal? Thank you. Uh, of course, and you see Yulia comes back at this time with your meal and uh, she goes, um, uh, what wine would you like? Uh, red, if possible. Um, all right, I'll, I'll take a look. I can't promise anything. Uh, just do your best, thank you. We're you... coming in with the real questions. Yeah. <laughs> you see one of the people in the circle stands up and goes... This... Mm. My... My shirt? Looks down at the shirt, which is pure white. My shirt is... My hair is... Oh, do, no. do you need to, like, go out and get some air or something? No. What did you do? What? I can't... Learning. I can't lie. Why were you trying to? Uh, you see, the woman beside him looks red-faced and incredibly angry. Well... He's just told me where he was last evening, so I'll be off. Oh, <laughs> I, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, the pain. Oh, you see, other people, is just ruined. You see, other people begin standing up and uh, trying to say different phrases, but nothing's coming out right. I just step to the side to let. <laughs> Whoever wants to storm off, storm off. Mm -hmm. It's fine, that was what, always allowed. What? What is... What's going on? I don't know. I, I, I... <laughs> Morality? <laughs> conscience? A bunch of different words for it. <laughs> hmm. Someone's gonna get punched in a minute. I'm a bit, a bit drink. <laughs> I oh, man, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a question to capitalize on this moment. Has anyone stolen any silver recently? <laughs> Go for it, honestly. It's the zone of truth. It's the Has... <laughs> you know what? I'll I will I will take I'll take the bullet. <laughs> Has any one of you taken any silver recently? Dead silver. Illegally. <laughs> dead, dead, dead silence. Oh, I just mean like dead silence. Mm, okay. You could hear a pin drop. At this point, well, Yulia, there. Yulia comes back, um, and she seems to be holding a couple of bottles of this. It's like a black bottle with a, a frayed white label on the front. She goes, "Um, uh, I'm afraid we don't have any red wine, but we do have um." Inky Stinky, if you'd like to try some. You see Horus steps out of this oh. uh, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we have all the information we need. <laughs> Glaring over at you lot. Um, Come on, I was, wow. I was hoping for show with my dinner. Uh, 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 drinks of Inky Stinky on the house on me. You see a lot of people immediately just stand up and begin walking out of the establishment. She, uh, Yulia places the bottle down in front of you, Vane, and goes, um, we don't have any red, unfortunately. Um, That's fine. But, uh, um, we have what's it like? It doesn't sound appetizing. It's a fermented squid's egg. Oh. It has been I've never tried to uh, remove any toxin, but, um. Oh. It's, it's an experience. I love my drinks without toxins. Um, I shall give it a try, I suppose. Okay. And she pulls out a little shot glass and pours out this viscous black liquid. Just 
pulled into the shot glass. Ugh. Well, no time like the present. And I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. You knock it back and it coats the inside of your mouth and your throat. And it, it takes it a hot... Shut up! Potato! <laughs> it takes a hot minute to um, go down. You're kind, you're kind of just waiting for it to happen, but the taste... It's indescribable. The only thing that is more com you know, comparative is when you had the oil with wine. But if it was only oil. Kind of like that, with a, a surprisingly minty thing at the very end. I'd like you to give me a constitution saving throw, please, Rain. I want to go on record and say I said nothing. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Very nice. You see, a couple... It's quite, quite pleasant. A couple of other people uh, march up behind you, Vane, and take their free shot of Inky Stinky. Um, whereas others are just does, going outside. Does Vane still have the silver on the... on the? Yeah, don't worry, he's keeping a very close eye on his money. <laughs> Hence the natural 20 constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> Money's on the save oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Horace begins shaking people's hands, going, oh, "Thank you for coming." As uh, people leave, I will. I'll say to Roshana, uh, "I don't know what you did, but that seems rather effective." Well, yeah, sure was. You just have a smell to make people tell the truth. Make people not lie. I see. You haven't used that on us, have you? No, I did not. And I gather you guys would have found out if I did anyway. This is the first time I've used it. It'd be pointless to use it on us anyway, because we don't lie to you. I, I mean, I would hope so. I trust you to not lie to me. I don't know if I've said anything that's like not... Like, everything I think I say kind of feels crazy to a lot of people. Be weird for any of that to be a lie. Sure. I mean, no offense, Rook, but uh, I don't think a lot of people meet someone like you all the time. Why would I take offense to that? Are you unique? And yes. he's just going to keep an eye on his gold and uh, his coin purse while all these people are gathered around the back of him. Yep. So, and the, the Rook will step up towards Kato. It seems like perhaps we were pointing our perceptions in the wrong direction. How do you mean? Well, if there well, is something being sent out to collect items with silver and bring them back, perhaps they're not going to the ocean. Right. We just assumed that much because the cat said a crab. Hmm. The cat said the crab with Wait. the silver spoon. Little He's boy the... blue and the man Shh. and the moon. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. The cat. Not the cat the said. The cat said the crab were wearing the silver. Well, no, they said that the crabs were shiny. Were shiny. I'm and wondering they said there was now. A lot more is of it? Them Hmm. So I'm wondering if these items of silver are breaking themselves out. Because the gentleman said that his buckets had walked away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, if you see a tiny, let's say, scurrying 
object. And you live this close to the water, it would be common to assume it was some sort of crustacean. So what you're assuming that somebody has either found something that gives them the ability to, uh, has the ability to uh, uh, grant movement to objects and has been using that to pilfer and profit? Possibly. Like you, like you said, suspension of disbelief. Yeah, don't rule anything out until we see it. Mm -hmm. This still leaves the question of why silver and not just anything of value. Yeah, because if it was to avoid suspicion, then you'd take copper as well. Yes. Or you wouldn't target just one specific thing. Right. Maybe perhaps they thought that uh, if they just go after silver, people might not notice. But obviously, do that long enough, and well, they will notice. Also, if you do that in an area like this, where silver is worth more. Right. But then why this area specifically? Why not head more towards the city center and go after gold or platinum? Because they're not looking for profit. Right. They're looking for silver. They could possibly use that silver for something. Hmm. one. You see at this point Horace has finished uh, shaking hands and spreading his name over to uh, the people who've left. Uh, you see the rest of the people who are have remained are sticking around for more drinks and dinner. Uh, he turns uh, to you and says, uh, uh, Do you like some inky stinky? No. I'm fine, thanks. I will keep to ale. Uh, very well. The office there. Uh, Horace, quick question. Um, you wouldn't happen to have, like, a... Like, s some sort of container made of silver, would you? Uh, no. I don't think so. It's like, like hmm. a trinket box or something. Yeah, like that, or like a, like a teapot or a flask. Uh, I, I, you know, like a like a hip flask. Uh, I might have at one point. Hmm. Uh, why'd you ask? Because I was thinking if we filled it with something relatively descript like that inky stinky. And then we left it out somewhere. Perhaps if anything picked it up, we'd be able to follow its trail. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Yes. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything, um, like that's relatively descript and unique, that's silver, but perhaps doesn't pertain a lot of value to you? Hmm. Uh, I might have something still at home. Uh, I suppose for the good of the community, it would be worth it. Well, if uh, also if you have a any way belief that we'll have this job done, you'll get it back. Uh, yes, yes, and I do have faith. Um, I could be back in fifteen minutes. Would that work? That works for me. Very well. Uh, I'll see you back here in a few. See, he gets off. All uh, things considered, I think we made some pretty good progress for an afternoon. True. I kind of want to get this uh, squared away as quickly as possible and alleviate some of the stress. Mm -hmm. It's not as if we've got a tremendous amount of time. 
Mm. Items walking away all on their own. Um, uh, you know, I said that Vane uh, sort of put a couple of silver on the uh, bar. Mm -hmm. He's going to take out five silver and stack them like uh, poker chips. Okay. Uh, ju and just have them in front of him. All right. And he's going to stay there. Uh, what what time is it now? Uh, we'll say it's closer to six now at this point. Calm down. Hmm. So, there is a spell that I can um, prepare. I don't have it prepared today because I didn't think on it. That allows me to know where an object is within a certain radius. Oh my god. If we were to... The idea would be to let something be picked up and then be able to follow that. The problem is, if we're going to stake out tonight, the spell won't be ready until we've taken a long rest. So I wonder if it would be worthwhile for me to call a very early night and attempt Possibly. to get my, my spells in order before things go too awry. Hmm. It could be worthwhile. So, what's the plan here, guys? Bane's gonna stare at his silver pieces, eat some food, and chill. <laughs> and turn okay, his silver well. pieces. Start in front of him, walk away. Mm. I'm oh, ordering don't. dinner. Mm -hmm. But Vane is going to pretend that he doesn't know anyone. I will still order something to eat. Keeping up his disguise. Mm -hmm. At least while the other patrons are here. Uh, Rook will order something as well, but take it up to his room and uh, try to call an early night. Very well. So, fish and chips on the menu, fun. lads, with some mushy peas. <laughs> well, I'll skip on the mushy peas, but mm. I'll have double portions of chips, please. <laughs> uh, you need your greens. Uh, never mind. So, you all tuck in, Rook, you head upstairs, schnarfle down your food, and get ready for an early night. Yeah, I'll let the rest know that if uh, anything kicks off, like... Just wake me, mm -hmm. and I'll hand K to an aisle. Um, That's for yourself. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, you got a name? <laughs> Rook's gone upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just look at the <laughs> owl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. To be fair, he didn't have a name when he was given to me earlier, so... Mm. I believe the consensus is he doesn't get a name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, I, the owl. when I When I shackle the face spirit into the form, I don't, they don't get to speak back to me. So I don't know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the, the owl can perch on my shoulder. Takes its talons in. I'm not going anywhere, bitch. Mm. Okay. So an early night is had. Uh, the rest of you have your drinks and your food. Uh -huh. Is there anything else you'd like to do uh, before nighttime proper comes and Rook has his long rest? Just keep a watchful eye on the people that are still there. Yeah, and Vane's yeah. literally um, sort of going to keep an eye on his silver and even like when the place closes and it gets dark, he's going to just stand, stay there mm -hmm. staring at his silver. See, uh, look around if 
anyone is watching Vane. Uh, give me a perception check, please. He's subtly staring at Silva, by the way. He's like eating and you know. Mm -hmm. Not great. Not terrible. Uh, you do see a few people are just giving you all a few curious glances at the newcomers here. Um, mm -hmm. Aside from that, though, not really. Mm. You see, one by one, as the evening stretches on, that the people begin to leave. They disperse. Uh, you do also see, Vane, that people do end up... It's not showing. Uh, they do leave through this way as well. Uh, there seems to be like a little area where they can leave. Okay. And it's... Roshana. Yes? Have you ever been outside the city? I have not. I have mostly lived in the district where I'm from. Hmm. Well, so maybe if this, really... if this adventuring career takes off, maybe we might have a, a quest that actually takes us outside the city. It would be nice to see outside the city. <laughs> Big world down there. I bet. Vane. Or, well, hmm. <laughs> I mean, it is Fane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vane mm. kind of puts his hand up to his head and just kind of rubs the front of his, his forehead. I wonder, I wonder what Vane's up to these days. Yeah. Probably no good. Probably. I wonder if he's misses his home at all. Have all so. the other patrons gone? But at this point, like, has everyone else left? Uh. There's no stragglers or anything. Yep, everyone's left. Touch. I just need to look <laughs> at Kato. Well, we can talk about you in the third person. You can talk about me, but don't talk about missing things. I mean, do you not miss things? Of course I do, but talking about it isn't exactly going to help. I think it's still pretty much a sore patch. Hmm. Anyway. And stares back at his silver. Yeah. Um, Ulya, I hope you don't mind. I, I'll be staying here this evening. Yeah. Downstairs. Just here. Uh, that's uh, fine. Um. Sure, just, um, the kitchen is off-limits. Oh, yes, yes, I don't plan on moving from here. Mm. Don't worry. Fine. I'll be on my best behavior. And, uh, on the plus side, it's like having a security guard. Sure, you love, huh? Security guard. I... Just in case anyone else wants to come in and try the kitchen. <clears throat> sure. It's at this point that Horace returns. Um... And he hands you Roshana. Um, he goes, uh, this is for the um, a silver amulet that is in my family. And it's just gathering dust. Uh, perhaps uh, you could use this? We could certainly try to use it. Good, good. I look over the amulet. Mm -hmm. And you see, it seems to be a family crest of some sort. Uh, it's uh -huh. not really one that you recognize. Um, it's a funky looking one with like a cockerel. And uh, Cockerel seems to have like a sword in its mouth. Ox sword. 
He goes, uh, well, um, I'll leave that with here with you, if that's all right. And, uh, yes, thank I'll, you. uh, hope your investigation goes well. Uh, I'm going to head home. I mm -hmm. guess I'll go to keep in. Uh, if you need anything, please just, um, uh, either ha have Yulia or someone else come over. It's, it's no problem at all. Right, well, see you in the morrow, then. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Was his behavior suspicious? I ask, ask like an inside check or something. Are you asking me? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Inside. Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh. But 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 but. Uh, Everyone's just I like. Oh, I, I know. know nothing. I see nothing. I mean, he's a funny man. Is the best way to put it. He is a funny man, guys. I believe they just called him interesting. <laughs> interesting is a good word. Uh, mm, he's, he's an also interesting fellow. Eccentric. Yeah. yeah, eccentric, yeah. Very involved as well. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? And I look up uh, earlier. Earlier? Julia. 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 Julia, I will get it right. It's like Julia, but Julia. Mm -hmm. um, I'm you assuming think that's how it's strangely. Uh, it's, it's how he's always been ever since I was okay. little hasn't Nothing changed different. in fact I think he's gotten worse have you ever known hey, him to be yeah. magically inclined uh, no definitely not mm. I don't think he's involved I think he, if he was he would be a moron for putting up a quest with a huge gold reward um just to bring attention to himself, that seems idiotic. If you're getting he's away got, with it and the guards aren't on... interesting. You said he's gotten worse? How so? Well, um, since he retired, he's, um, uh, he's become slightly obsessed with being on the, you know, the community chair hmm. and at the community table. Um, it's like he's taken the energy that he had for when he was working and uh, brought it to here. And uh, it seems he's going to go to any lengths to uh, make sure that he stays on the board. Probably go for community chair himself at some point. Mm. I assume he's just an old man who's bored after retirement. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was eccentric to begin with, but this is... This is a lot. Mm. I mean, he helped. Is he well off? I... Oh, most definitely. Um, I mean, he's he's helping people, though. I I can't really complain. But yes, yes, of course. You do not want to be around for one of his rants. It's uh, it's inspiring for the first five minutes, and then draining for the next fifty-five. <laughs> um. Is there anything else that I can get for you? Um, I'm going to head off to bed myself. No, I think I will turn in. Yes, I, I think that will that will be all for now. Thank you. I'll shout if anything happens down here. Right. You dear. Puts up the hatch and goes up the stairs to her own bedroom. I'll park there for now. So... I guess while I have you two here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've made a sort of breakthrough in my training. Oh? Mm -hmm. Do tell. Um, I can sense things around me. Even if I'm not seeing them. All right. Did something like that happen today? Um, well, there was, you know, the ghost. Of 
course. That even though it was invisible, I could still detect its location. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm sure that'll come in useful for when we go into darkness of some kind. If Roshana's unavailable uh, to give you eyeballs. <laughs> yes, I guess all that's to say um, might not always be necessary. It is, I'll, I'll be at the, the short distance, but uh, it still helps. Yes. Look at you all progressing. Roshana can make people tell the truth. Rook can turn into a fish. You can see things that you couldn't see before. I'm proud of you all. Oh, thank you. And what about oh, you? Hey. Have you... Surely you've made some developments. Not that I'm aware of. Maybe, but uh, nothing I can sense, or I can't turn into a fish. No, don't think I can make people tell the truth. You can be very although persuasive. Like, well, yes. Hopefully, <laughs> that gets better over time. Um. However, I was thinking that truthy place spell you did um, yeah that may be incredibly useful in the days to come it will be just with everything going on i think if you wouldn't mind uh, given the opportunity if we can if i can take advantage of that uh, of course, ability of, of yours thank you no problem. Anything for a friend. Bane smiles. Well, um, I'm going to sit here and ponder and watch these silver pieces. Although, where are exactly... Like, how are you getting these new abilities, Kato? Do you just wake up with them, or...? Well, I had... I had practiced a bit while blindfolded. Mm. Hard. Oh, okay. So I... <laughs> Maybe I should just give sort it a of go. ...became more aware of my surroundings. No. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sorry that uh, Luxon saw fit to sort of collar us all again when it's every time it's been my fault. But uh, as I said to him earlier today, hopefully um, things start improving don't feel bad Luxon seems like the kind of person who goes out of his way to as you put it collar people mm -hmm. seems as if he's got some sort of satisfaction out of it yeah mm. well perhaps, perhaps what seems weird to mm -hmm. me was that he suddenly was your clerk with the guards. Right. That's true. He did seem to be in two places at once, which is highly concerning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, he can disguise himself as other people. And he's much more adept at it than I am, so I assume he's got some sort of decoy system, or perhaps he had someone... Yeah fill in for him if DM. to face the guns. Mm -hmm. 
when we saw Luxon, quote unquote, at the uh, the clerk's at clerk's clerk's desk, uh, did it seem like he was doing anything or saying anything, or was he just standing there? Uh, no, he was chatting away to the head or the guards that was highest of highest rank there at the time. Hmm. Okay. He was chatting away to them. I mean, it could have been the real him down at Clerks and the fake him up talking to me because I tried to, well, I offered to shake his hand and he did some gesture and laughed it off. So who knows? But he's ahead of the Adventurers Guild for a reason. I assume he has ways and means. Though I still struggle to figure out what he actually did during their adventures, but I'm also wondering that about myself, so... Hmm. Hopefully we can wrap this up quickly. Yeah. Yes, fingers crossed. No, go and rest. And let me keep you up. If you say so. Alright. I'll Watch out if anything upstairs. happens. Um, are all the windows like have they got like shutters or have they got um like curtains? Uh of any they kind? do not. Okay. I will stay disguised then. Okay. Even though I'm disguised as myself. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, I'll just sit there and kind of twiddle my thumbs. Yeah. For the foreseeable future. Ready rest of you head off to bed Ooh, oh my you. god i'm upstairs oh my god don't worry oh i've god. got it i fixed it don't worry i'm sorry I mean, this isn't the room i chose <laughs> no oh, okay. you, went, you, you went you were in my room get <laughs> <laughs> <Rude>. ass <laughs> when i hears people coming up the stairs we cool briefly stick his head out and just ask hey um did uh did What's his name? Drop anything off for me, Silver. Uh, Roshana? Uh, uh, yeah, he had this uh, brooch. Sweet. Or, well, amulet. So... Okay, I'm gonna just familiarize myself with it, and then leave it on a I desk to be stolen. I, I give it to Rook. What a strange sequence of words. <laughs> <laughs> When aren't they? <laughs> Words are a weird soup. That is very true. Mm -hmm. Vain chuckles from downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where, after you've familiar, familiarized yourself with this, Rook, where would you like to leave it? Um, uh, I'll just leave it on top of this, like, presser okay. cabinet. Uh, and then I'll, like, briefly just run over and knock on Roshanna's door. Hey, Roshanna. Hey. Yes, yes. Just, yes. just real quick, because I, I meant to say it earlier. Yes. Do not let your holy symbol be stolen. I will not let it be stolen. Thank you so, for reminding I don't, me. I don't recall what it's made of, but a lot of them were sometimes silver. So I just had to say that because it'd be really, it'd just suck. You're correct. Cool. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Alrighty. So, most of you guys head off to bed. Uh, Vane downstairs, you keep your eyes on. Um, I've got the five silver stacked up, like mm -hmm. the poker pieces, and then the pouch of remaining silver. Sort of about, like, so I imagine the five silver is on where my left hand is like shoulder width and then the bag is on the right and I'm just sort of 
there, mm -hmm. staring. Okay. The hours pass by. Goes on and on and on. Fane, I'd like you to give me a con save just to see if you can stay awake long enough stood in this one position. Eyes oh. trained. 99 bottles of beer in the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down. <laughs> Shit. Where did that song come from? Oof. Oh, was that from your Jack of All Trades? I uh, believe so. Yeah, because it's an ability check. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because the previous one was a save. Wait, was I supposed to save or check? Hmm? Was I supposed to con save or check? Uh, con save. Okay, so minus one, nine. Okay. F sun chat. So, Bane, you are stood there. And every now and then you do feel your eyes that closing and you peel them back open again, Mr. Bean is like getting the matchsticks and like propping your eyelids up. <laughs> At some point though, you are like you feel your arm going from underneath your head as you're like slouched on the table just looking at these go at these silver pieces and just waking yourself up over and over and falling asleep over and over and one of the silver pieces is missing Ooh. you you, you stand up and you've you've what where'd it go i put my hand on the other four silver pieces mm -hmm. and I put my hand on the bag yep so they still feel does the bag still feel about the same you go to check and the bag is empty bruh uh... you see at the bottom of the bag there is um, it's been torn like slit open it's at this point that as you Clutch the four silver pieces, touch your bag and go, oh fuck, where'd they gone? You turn around and you see, scuttling across the floor. No. The tiniest, palest little crab. What? Thaumaturgy. And it yeets itself out of the room. I run to the door. Mm -hmm. And you just you just catch up in time to see it blink into the ocean. Son of and a I'll, bitch. I will um I will shout Rock In the Water Um does the window in my room open? Uh, it does not, unfortunately. Just smash it. I'll pay for the fucking excess. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken all my fucking money. Well, it's unfortunately, you're not in my room to let me know. So, I'll... He used thaumaturgy on my room. Used, yeah, you, you do hear it yeah. Yeah. Um, Rook will... He'll just start running, running down, and yeah. knock on people's doors. Do they all hear it? Well. Yeah, the rest of you hear it as well. It's it's pretty damn loud. Don't, don't be ridiculous, Kato. He only no. yelled my name, Lee. <laughs> 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 it's just immediately thought, who can turn into a fish? Go. Maybe, maybe one day someone will yell my name. Feel free to read into that as much as you like. Aww. <laughs> Sag. Roshana might do it while she's slashing her legs off. <laughs> uh, she she uses a mace or warhammer. So or a butcher's cleaver. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure she's warhammer. Trying. Roshana just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, Goodbye, legs. What what's up? Uh, they've, uh, they've, 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 silver pieces. There's a small crab. I saw it. It dived in the ocean. Okay. Go! Uh, Rook will uh, say, try to keep an eye on me, and he will bonus action uh, 
starry form, so he emits a light archer, and then he'll jump in and wild shape into a uh, a reef shark. Awesome. Meanwhile, that happens. Do I still have my holy symbol? Uh, you're checking. You left it underneath your pillow, I believe. I might have. I meant your pillow upstairs, not the one back at the guild. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rook, if you'd left it back at the guild, we, we would... Oh, yeah. my <laughs> God. <laughs> that would have been so sad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to link up with Rook. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to run up here. I search. Okay. Uh, I'd like you to give me a perception check, please. Rook. Oh, yeah. I'm barely close enough. Sure. Oh, wait. Oh hold up. Wait. God. Wait. 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 Friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We would we would technically be right on the side of the, you would, the, in the fairness, side yeah. That, to be fair. Fortune of the minute. I'm gonna turn that into a nine. <laughs> okay. God, I uh, wish I'd fucking inspir inspiration to did you. Immediately in your vicinity, Rook, nothing moving around you. Okay. Um, I'm just, he's just going to um, like start making his way out. And he's going to keep a keen eye out um, for his light hitting any of the shells of the crabs. Mm -hmm. To see if they can... like give off light. Alrighty. Can I look just... around for crab? Before he... looking for crab, okay. Looking for crab, and uh... before, like, while Kato's, um, like in range, can mm -hmm. uh, Vane, um, do I know that you're talking to him telepathically? I don't know. Carry on, uh, probably. Look, looks like he's going brain blast, he's constipated. Uh, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just looking at Um, I would say they're very small. Very silvery, shiny. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, tell work if you can. Okay. Uh, he gives he gives a nod, and uh, he says they're very small and shiny, mm. silvery. Nom nom nom. Okay. <laughs> nom nom nom. Um. Okay, so Kato, I'd like you to give me a perception check at disadvantage, please, because you're looking for crab in the sea. And uh, uh, I'd like you to give oh, me a perception no. check as well, please, Rook. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, oh, it's not bad. bad. Okay, got to, Rook's got to carry us. Okay, Rook, you can... Wait, no. At this point, Rook, even the bubbles that the crabs would have left behind after swimming, you can't feel any of them. You can't sense any of them. A bit too far gone. Kato, if you haven't a, a breeze by the hour. Yeah, uh, I, I figured. <laughs> Rook will continue up and down the perimeter of the docks okay. to see if he can um, see any more that have entered the water. Right. Okay, just give me another perception check for that as well, please. Sure. Was it really ah. fucking crabs? Was it really fucking crabs this whole time? Oh boy. I told you. Is your <laughs> <laughs> swimming up and down rock the only odd movement that catches your attention is, you know, a seagull comes to land on the water for a minute before it takes off again um crabs have gone the 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 rest of the party just like see that seagull hit the water and then a beam of light comes flying out <laughs> uh because fun fact i can still shoot off my archer bolts while i'm wild shaped so i'm just a shark with a laser oh my god so the shark oh. shoots the seagull yeah that's great that's not nice <laughs> so the rest of you are just kind of like waiting around 
and waiting. Yeah, and I'll waiting. come back to the dock. Before fried chicken just goes flying through the air. <laughs> oh fuck. And a plume of feathers behind it. <laughs> the rook comes careening out of the water majestically, shining bright. Turns back into uh, the people. Mm -hmm. Did you find them? No. <sighs> Vane punches the deck, the decking, the pier behind, or like below him. Great. So we're up against crabs, among other things. Always have been. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, but okay. Um, but, we, but we knew, like, when the cat told us. And then Cato doubted me and the cat. Sorry, I just found it difficult to believe that a crab could smash a piggy bank that was elevated. Well, we never said they were working alone. Well, they've cut through which my is, coin purse. Which is why I said among other things. Well, they must be able to move pretty goddamn quick in the, uh, in the water. Well, they can move quick, pretty quick outside of the water as well. By the time I'd noticed it was there, the thing had brushed out. By the time I got to the door, it was in the water already. Wait a second. Rook, how do we know it's now one of uh, one of your people? Someone with your abilities? Wow. <laughs> wow. There you go again. General. Wow. You, you, you have been like, if it's a druid... Fucking yes, that. You. Yeah, well, I mean, it could be, like we were saying the whole time, that oh. they're probably not working alone. <laughs> I, I don't... I... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, to answer the, the question at the root of your question, they're probably not a hobgoblin. That's <laughs> not what I meant. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I... The one that that man spoke about said it was the size of a bucket, which, which the, kind of this, just... this this one was the size of a silver piece, if I'm not mistaken. It's almost as if the thing is turning into the crab. That's what I'm thinking. It's <laughs> it could be a whole bunch of druids. Who knows? Oh, they are crab. What do you have against druids? Yeah, well, it could be a whole bunch of fighters. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kato. <laughs> Last I checked, yeah. I can't turn into animals. Last I checked, you could fling objects with your mind. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I don't Kato. need to put Son of Truth here to make you guys have an argument. <laughs> Not to make us have one, no. Probably to only... have one. I can only move them 30 feet, and I can only do it so many times a day. Well, maybe there's a better one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> maybe we should look for where the, this person, if this is a druid, not to generalize, I'm sorry, Rook. If there okay. are, are wet spots on the floor somewhere, like someone climbed out of the water. I was thinking about that at the... Uh... With the piggy bank, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I just I thought like... it's—I thought it's strange if I asked about any new stains in someone's carpet. I feel like the piggy bank was broken from the inside out. I also considered that if the silver pieces were breaking their way out of things. Is the cut in your coin purse a clean cut? And Same? if the coin purse that was previously. Just <laughs> bulging with <laughs> coin. It, wait, it, now it looks like somebody sadly had, empty. It looks like somebody had done the snip, 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 snip. Okay. Wait, you had your gold in there too? No, they haven't taken. It was just the silver mm -hmm. that was in the coin purse. But you know, the rest of your coin <laughs> is now like here on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. Okay. Wow. Rook, is it, Rook's gonna run just... back in to check on the silver item he had. Mm -hmm. Um, it's as you guys are running by that you, well, Rashana, you see your amulet is walking away. 
What? Another one of these. Oh no. <laughs> we can. Oh, oh no, I'm running I'm after that. <laughs> I'm getting I'm jumping. I'm tackling the crab. Uh You see that the crab is incredibly fast. What? What the fuck? What is What? Can I uh it's carrying the item, yeah? Yep. I am I'm going to Crab, crab. Telepathic. Crab, crab. Tele <laughs> I tried to Rashana find the button. Mind the crab. <laughs> I tried to find the button there. Okay. What would you like to do? Grab the grab the uh, item. Okay. You grab the amulet. The, the, the item, it's being taken by the crab, yeah? Yeah. Once you, take, I'm gonna... once you take the item, the crab just continues scurrying on. Can I... Mm... <sighs> this is a stretch. Is there a bucket nearby? Uh, no. There isn't, and it's, <sighs> it's far too fast. Immediately yeah. outruns the, the two of you. Oh my god. Uh, you push on the back door, and you see that the crab is continuing to scurry away. Uh, In what direction? I'm going to chase after it. Uh, it's running away from the water and further into the city. I, I am full booking. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to start off next week, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, this is... 80 <laughs> fucking... Vindication. <laughs> <laughs> so I started the session with 90 silver. Mm -hmm. I now okay. have four. Yeah, well, that's, that's a huge step backwards in the not getting Monty killed fun. 